as you can see that was pretty quick this guy is like so close to hitting my vehicle it's crazy i don't know if y'all saw that he almost hit me. you know so more than likely those folks from Terrasana are probably watching this video right now. Shout out to the folks in Terrasana, Columbus. <laughs> Learn about Ohio Cannabis Live. Make sure you tell all your friends and all your co-workers. <laughs> we got the number one YouTube channel in the state of Ohio. This is how we do it. Live. All right, so we are on our way to our next destination. We are on our way to Strawberry Fields. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to remember what I got. What did I get? I don't even know what I got. I got, uh, that's it. Fire Mints, yeah. We got some Fire Mints by Woodward. You know, you can put those in your salad and it'll probably make your salad fire. Coming up on another nice view of, of downtown Columbus. Taking y'all on a road trip. Wait till y'all see what happens in November. <laughs> make sure you watch in November because we got some more stuff happening. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna let you know, we are going to have a in-person Halloween party and we are going to have a virtual Halloween party. Don't ask me how I'm going to do that because I don't know yet. No, I do know. <laughs> but it's coming soon. So make sure you prepare that. Get your costumes ready. What's your favorite thing to dress up for as Halloween? I'm just curious. You know, do you do even do, do you even do Halloween? Now, Halloween is not for everybody. Not for everybody. I'm not. I'm not. A, I don't go to haunted houses. I don't go on ghost tours. But I believe in ghosts. Ghosts be out there. Do you believe in ghosts? I don't think there's ghosts. Out there. Yep. So you know, the best time to go get mess in the is Sunday. No traffic passing the, the lowerfield.com facility they just built here in Columbus. Wait till you see the new drone footage I'm about to have. It's going to be so crispy. And just so you know, there is no other channel called the Anthony D. Riley channel. And that channel is totally different than this channel in the fact that it's everything I'm doing that you don't see here. So, all the adventures of Anthony D. Riley, me traveling all over the place, on the way to the dispensary, on my way here, on my way there, um, and all the other adventures that are in between these videos, you can find those videos on the Anthony D. Riley channel. And, uh, you know, if you're watching this on the replay, hit the like, subscribe button, and notification bell for updates, share this with your friends. Because that helps out with the algorithm and uh, you know I can't wait to tell you later on what I got from these places but in order for you to find out you got to make sure you plan on tuning in for the next update and that's the that's the fun time that's when we go test some of this stuff out and find out if it's gonna be up to par because <laughs> it might not be up to par you know what I mean? So it's not a car. We ain't gonna, we ain't even gonna show time now. We ain't even waste your time. You know, it's gotta be a car. Right now I'm kinda like over here by OSU, main hospital, North Columbus. Just taking a ride out here. It's a nice day. The weather is pretty nice. This is definitely uh, easier for me because I can't drive that much, so like I have to do everything in a how can I say this? Like in a circular fashion, so like I don't 
double back. Like every time I drive somewhere, I have to like plan it a certain way because if I don't, then I have a lot of pain. Okay, blueberry cupcake. Really? I'm glad you told me that because I saw that and I was really wondering if that was any good or not. How do you feel about the uh, the price on it? Do you think it's, did you get a good deal on it? Or did you just have to pay the regular price and just try it? Because sometimes you, something's so good and you really want it, you just go ahead and try it and just, you know, pay whatever the price is. I, I've had that happen too, so I know how that can be. You just say, oh, well, I'll just go ahead and pay for it. You know, that, that can be, you know, that can be. It is sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? It's expensive, okay, all right. So it is a little pricey. I mean, my favorite strain for them is rainbow chip. I love me some rainbow chip, but I can't see the prices on it. And at some point I had to just say, well, you know, one day it'll be more affordable and I'll have, I'll have it then. But at, right now, at the prices that it's at, I can't have it. It's that simple. There's a lot of stuff like that. I'm like, oh, I would love to have that. Artifact, for example. I would love to have Artifact products, but I can't afford them. <laughs> yes, Rainbow Chip is definitely an indica. Definitely. And, um, you know, it it kind of has... I mean, I'm pretty, I can't remember if it's... I'm driving, I can't remember the lineage, but I'm sure it had gelato in it. But it does remind you of gelato. If you've had, like, pal gelato, it, it definitely has that kind of smell and flavor familiar with gelatos strains um, I think that's really what I like about it is the smell and the flavor but you know I feel like any really good product any any good produce strains whatever I, I think that you uh you definitely want something oh no it looks like there's a major accident oh crap it's not looking good y'all Oh, no. Traffic jam. Why didn't my GPS tell me? Yeah, I mean, if you can get, if, you, if you're if you a Farkas Farm, like, if you like Farkas Farm Bullseyes, um, if you like their products, I, you definitely have to try Rainbow Chip because to me, that's kind of like, some of these companies have what I consider to be like their breakout strain or product it is really like what makes them so popular or what makes them really like oh i buy this over and over again i mean for what worked for me for them it was wedding cake that was for me like their breakout when they first come out that was like my favorite strain you know we're very creek is obviously garlic cookies really i haven't had sunday driver in years i didn't even know that was still around um i haven't seen sunday driver by uh clutch or uh fire lens in a long long time so um, I, I would love to know you know why you think it works for you you think it's the flavor do you think it's the the turk profile um do you just think it's the, the plant itself i mean because you know all the times i tried it i couldn't get what i was looking for out of it i tried it up north and i was much more into it up north but i'm just not that into it here it's a lot of strains like that where, you know, I tried them somewhere else and they were like, yeah, that's it. And then here it's like, nah, that ain't it. And I'm sure a lot of people go through that, um, that same experience where, you know, you're, you're buying something because you've known it from, from the, you know, the black market or the legacy market or whatever you want to call it. And then you go looking for it in the program and it ain't the same cut. I mean, all these different, I didn't even know about all this like pheno stuff until we got this program I'm like pheno like like what is that you know I mean I had to learn about these different phenotypes and these different seeds and genetics I felt like I had to go back to school uh, in some ways to learn uh, why these things had such differences to them why they were so dramatically different than what we would normally do now I normally would here. already be at strawberry fields but you know, and, and what's so crazy is that 
this exit main street main street bexley that's the exit so i mean i'm literally a half a mile from the exit we're going like so so slow and i'm trying to like hurry up my mission is i gotta get back so i can get my doggy a bath <laughs> my, so miracle can get her a bath today at the uh place where they get you know, special doggy wash Okay, okay, so so the Sunday driver to concentrate, okay. I can see that now, you know, again, I haven't had it in a long, long time, so it, it may have gotten better, uh, you know. But like I said, I, I just really have, haven't had a chance to even try it again in so long. I just haven't seen it in the Central Ohio market. Uh, just, just not up here for whatever reason. And uh, I don't know, I don't know why. This traffic is killing, man. It must be an accident or something. Looks like we're getting ready to see it live. <laughs> this is your weed mobile track. <laughs> There's a backup here on the I-71 I corridor. <laughs> yeah, something's happening up here for sure. I don't know what. They got the sticks out too, like the little flares. So I think it's... Oh, oh, y'all see that? Wow, they in the wall there. Woo, they lucky to be standing there. Did y'all see that? That was a bad accident there. Right at my exit too. Wow. I couldn't imagine running into that wall. That's a brand new concrete wall that they just put there too. It hasn't been there that long. So I, I would be terrified of that. Because... Now we're in we're in a place called Bexley, and uh, it's a suburb. And it's, it's its own city, really. It's not, I wouldn't really call it a city, but I mean a suburb. But it's actually Bexley is its own city, but they own police, mayor, and everything. And it's basically right in in Columbus. So like you drive in one area and you're in Bexley, and you drive another area, and you're in Columbus, and then back and forth. And you, you know, if you're not from here, it could be hard to tell what, what city you're in inside of the city. I mean, Columbus has so many cities inside the city. I mean, there, we've got Bexley, we've got Whitehall, we've got Pinkerton, we've got Reynoldsburg, we've got Dublin, Granville, Clintonville. Golly, we've got so many cities inside the city, you know. Or, then there's villages, too. Like, so we've got some villages. Um, hit. But uh, it, it's crazy, you know. Different little jurisdictions you have to keep up with. That's why it's a lot of times people say, why don't my, why doesn't my area have a shop? And it's because these little jurisdictions, these little cities, you know, they'll put a moratorium on it and they'll have it banned where you can't, you can't have one there in that area. So then people who just live in the neighborhood, you know, common folk, they have no idea what's going on because they're focusing maybe on maybe the city government of Columbus or wherever the main government or the federal, I mean, the state government. And here all along, the reason why they didn't get the shop in their market is because their government opposed it. Very quietly, very discreetly. Nah, we don't want no, no places like that in our community, blah, 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 blah. And you didn't get a say so in that. That's why I always encourage people, you know, to try to talk to their local leaders, your mayors, your city council people and find out what really is going on why don't you have a shop in your area because you know they're they, they hear they hear enough from their, their constituents about it they're gonna start thinking we better get one of these things because we could you know be making money to help the, the neighborhood or the community revenue that's where they'd be slipping on when they don't let those places open up in their community they miss out on on valuable uh income that can help boost up a neighborhood's economy no, that that's something that a lot of a lot of these small town mayors don't understand about medical cannabis like this is not just you know a thing for the people but it's also a thing for the communities versus the, the city itself because it's going to help you know build up better infrastructures help build fixed roads and everything else man all this other stuff they're doing ain't it it ain't, it ain't really helping nothing it's just people's pockets getting full and nothing getting fixed y'all understand what i'm saying that's the Ohio way. Fill your pockets and fix nothing and worry about it later. <laughs> That's why we got all these 
messed up roads man i'm driving past a road that still has bricks in it come on yo the road still got bricks man that's like a hundred years ago but they still got bricks in the road here I'm talking about it's historical no nah, they're just being cheap they don't want to put in, put the new road in they just leave the old bricks in there man we are no longer on the yellow brick road or the red brick road either man that's a hundred years ago <laughs> And then they don't even clean them. You know, they, they took care of them and polished them and made them look cool when you drove by. Yeah. I've been to some places where they have names on the bricks. Um, look, so they got the speed trap here. Make sure you ain't speed. See, now, 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 Strawberry Fields is in Columbus. We're just driving through Bexley to get to Strawberry Fields in Columbus. Which, Strawberry Fields actually be between two communities uh, or cities. Bexley, which is where I'm at right now, and then Whitehall, which is another jurisdiction. Uh, it's kind of like these were all in between where I live at, and where I live at is actually Columbus. So it's kind of <laughs> these jurisdictions are just everywhere. But uh, yeah, you know, everything went smooth at the other place, and uh, you know, hopefully everything goes smooth here. I'll get back just in time to get a dog a bath. <laughs> but uh yeah it's good to have y'all here make sure to like subscribe button get ready to pull up to uh strawberry fields here in just just a few seconds here we're coming up here uh, on our uh, left hand side make sure you do me a big favor share the video with all your friends uh oh this guy's driving a golf cart in the middle of the road. They got this place here called Wings. I just want to eat there because I'm like, man, there must be some good wings there. That's all they're serving. Then there's another place called Top. It's supposed to be like fancy steakhouse. The top, you know, V Top. Yeah, there we go. And then there's Strawberry Fields on the left hand side. So I'm pulling up the Strawberry. Mastermind hit. See y'all in a few. Peace.